introduce a local talent and points of view. Transport Carrier 1 carries O'Main to the correctional facility. Little does the pilot know, deception is brewing. Gar. You say, shit the course rigor. Ed, sorry, not gonna be sad. What the same really you doing? Anything for a brilliant mind like you. Where to now? The mining colony on the planets. The mining colony on the planet Zion. Yes, sir.
At the police station, the two go to check for the mayor's assistance. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Hey, Starship parts. We observe as the judge sentences him to his fate. At the police station, the two go to check for the mayor's assistance. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Hey, hey sir, uh, first to you. Yeah. Yes, Mark, how are you doing? Yes, great work on that last case, by the way. A little bit rough, but great work. Yeah, sorry about the uh, five dead bodies, but that's another time, that's another place. Fine. Yes, we we just went, uh, we've got... Starkop assigned to this case, as you know, Omain has escaped and is uh, posing a definite threat due to his reputation for being vile smuggler and so on. And we've requested Starkop to to yeah. take handle the job of uh, finding him and getting him back to his proper place in society. I put in the, the jail. Uh, I put in the request to handle the case, and we've just come down here, Mr. Mayor, for your authorization. Well. You know me, I just love Starcraft. You do great work for the police department. Thank you, sir. Just glad to be of service. And uh, let me know when you catch him, all right? All right, so I take that's a yes? Yes, yes. Go ahead. All right, thanks. Got to get through this model report. Oh. Please, no, 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 no Starcraft. We're not done eating How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this tragedy with the blood monster? Something, man, interview. What, what, what Based on an original idea by Mike Weber. Important plot developments. Chris Rock. Take that as a yes? Yes, yes. Go ahead. All right, thanks. Got to get through this model report. Oh. Was there, was there, no, there, no, there, 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 Stark, I, I, oh, can I have your autograph, please? Uh, please. Mr. Stark, what do you feel about? What do you feel about? Mr. Stark, what do you feel about? What do you feel about? 
Wait till I've done something, then interview me. What, what, what do you feel about your next encounter with the vile gangster, uh, what's his name? When I turn you into it. Meanwhile, at the... against anybody but it's bureaucracy that makes me go crazy as long as i'm a slave to money it's making me so worried in this plastic fake paper economy i really don't keep a penny just recirculate the green because greed is evil like the primitive process of money so why don't you why don't you you just kill me slowly. Planning colony on the planet Zeon. Omain and Ed arrive. <laughs> question censorship and oppressive boundaries in order to revolve into a point where we can think outside of the box and discover new ideas by looking at our world in different ways. Besides, if everything was all based on organized censored rules where we didn't where they have the freedom to question anything, uh, the reason for things, then we would never learn anything new either. People would be hiding themselves from the truth and we'd never advance with it any more technologically or spiritually as a civilization if we're not allowed to question there's even more of a danger with too much censorship that people not, may not be able to actually speak the truth anymore eventually also. Too many rules prevent people from enjoying life. Ah, you'll speak like a treasonous hippie. We should condemn you for your rebellious attitude. Yes. Oh, shit. Competition is survivor of the fittest here, so get used to it. Everyone wanted to control the information superhighway between galactic transmission to the new telepathic minds and the media marketed what they wanted by the richest corporations who dominated most of the airways because of the highest amount of money credits almost wins anyways. The power some power. Yes, I hate your hippie kind of freedom because you think you can live any way you want. But society won't work if everyone is free to do as they please, Crimson. Yes, I agree. Let's probe deeper into his mind. Not all hippies are lazy and greedy or self indulgent. It's to the point of obliviousness, you know. We aren't all stupid. And we certainly aren't prejudiced like those who hate hippies. That's why saying you hate free will, peace, love, and freedom to speak your mind, uh, it's, like, it's like saying you hate freedom. Why would, I, I, don't, I don't understand. It's like those who hate hippies. I really don't. How could you not want to keep your rights? It would make more sense to say that you hate violence, tolerance, cruelty, inequity, greed, or hypocrisy. But hating hippies is a form of prejudice that makes absolutely no sense to me at all. Hippies don't go around looking for groups of people to hate out of ignorance. Hippies, hippies are some of the most tolerant and generous and peaceful people I've ever known. If you hate hippies, then you must hate equality, peace, and everything else left 
of humanity that's good. So when it comes to our civil rights, here these stand for equal rights, freedom and good toward your neighbor, which are the same principles that basically our founding government used to embody. Government that conquests and spreads Martin its Henry. empire too thin runs the risk of not being able to protect its own domestic interests. People who want something original they can trust to be reliable as well. Now you can tell us where the location of those rebellious traders who re or who rejected us for the forbidden gnome zone. Or is this just another flashback to you, Crimson? You can't don that hat if it ain't any longer. Yes. Flashbacks are only mild symbolic reminders of the journey. It's never quite like the whole trip all over again. Never, I know the difference between reality and my dreams. Every experience is different and the details are so abundant and it's difficult to organize all of the information I absorbed throughout my journey. Of the Gnome Kingdom. You can interpret my experiences differently and develop your own personal meanings from my metaphors. They might seem different to you because each of your individual perceptions are different. Even if I swear I'm telling you the truth as I see it, you still won't be able to see things my way unless you're wearing the my cosmic glasses, so to speak. I do know the difference between reality and my dreams. I've become an expert on that subject. I would think for you to doubt me is irrelevant. After all, I wasn't the one piloting the ship either, and I was unconscious half the time, so we must have gone a great distance. Symbols and shapes shifting with layers of transparent cellophane could be anything you imagine it to be, like the clouds of neon freon changing in Zeon's polluted to sky, uh, depending only on what you choose to focus on alone. Can I relax and enjoy my dream now? Seriously. Uh. <laughs> down if we're going to have to sedate you. Nonsense. Let's keep him awake. Hey, we don't have much time. The trail could be getting colder by the minute. Over our search for the notorious alien gangster leader, Klaus Gecko. Maybe. The change. Zeon's moons. Maybe you're asking me the wrong questions now. Yeah, well, I can't I should be asking this to be the truth. I do even, even consider myself an expert in the difference between reality and fantasy. Uh, but maybe you're asking the wrong questions once again. Instead of doubting the messenger based on preconceived notions and prejudiced judgment, maybe the question you should be asking is what is the truth? What is truth? You determine your own reality based on your own limited perceptions, but once you've been through the infinite journey like me, then you'll see that reality is not constant. It can't be defined easily or so definitely, even when your perception changes to accommodate a new reality. Maybe changing your perception is necessary in order to adapt to reality instead of denying the infinite truth within constant change. The more rigid you become with your rules, the less able you will be able to adapt to strong winds and changing currents of shifting minds and planetary seasons. Philosophical rants, crimson. Oh, just maybe. Yeah, just all over the place, crimson. Yeah. Well, it takes a uniquely intelligent person to appreciate the journey. Just say no to advertisements for corporate mind control. The only advertisements I won't ignore are those for art, since artists are rarely ever rewarded enough to survive anyways. And for the things I need in terms of basic survival, when your rising cost of living keeps expanding exponentially. Uh, you're just all over the place again, Crimson. What do you keep talking about forbidden subjects? Don't you have any respect for the authority that protects your life here on our land? Yes, I have respect for people who are willing to give their lives for a good cause. You are a military, you know, a soldier for the corporate government, but I'm a mental soldier for democracy. You cannot expect me to devote my life to a cause I don't believe in. I don't think killing people helps us feel free at all. Or I think it only adds more fuel to the fire. Uh, keep disobeying us, we have to subdue you again. I am calm now, but I finally see the truth. Your hypocrisy is what's enslaving people. Uh, you 
have no control over my thoughts no matter what you say or do. You just don't get it. The only negative side effects of this interrogation treatment is that it causes a person to be prone to anxiety. But we have to remember that fear can be controlled mentally like mind over matter. Now that I'm seeing things more clearly, I'm starting to realize that you are the cause of my anxiety. Take away the star cops and your guns and maybe I wouldn't feel so threatened by your authority. And instead of blaming me alone for my anxiety, why don't you take a look at the effects your power has on people like me? It takes a particular calm, patient, good-willed, intelligent individual to endure this trip. Oh, yeah, you're going off on a tangent again. We need you to stay focused. We have the power to control you, Crimson. Uh, that power is the illusion of fear. I can control my own fears. Even though you may want to control my surroundings, I feel like I'm in a waking dream and a nightmare I can't wake up from. I'm, in other words, I know I'm awake, but I feel like uh, I can't escape, no matter what I do. Face reality on its own terms. Now I'm stranded here without a way to return home. What if we could offer you a place in society? What would you like to do for a living? Uh, great. You, are, you already know the answer to that. Well, you've been over this so before, but you think I'm insane. I want to be an artist. It's not a practical way to make a living. This is a real job. Pick something else. Uh, I wouldn't mind being a writer. Uh, they don't get paid enough to survive on that alone. Pick something else. I know how to play music. It's a hobby. It's not a way to make a living. There are no jobs in that field anymore. Well, what about being a poet or philosopher? Those still aren't jobs, Crimson. Eh. Well, I've always wanted to be a, a video producer in order to combine all of my multimedia creative ideas. Uh, that's again, we, have, we don't offer positions in that field. You have to be rich and do that independently. I'm going to Yeah. But those are the things I studied in college. That's all I was trained to do. And if I can't be an artist, poet, philosopher, musician, or video producer, then I'm not interested in anything else because I work hard enough at all those things already. I've even contributed to the establishment. If you could just listen, proven to the establishment plenty of times that I am capable of producing quality art and I've earned my degree as well as paid more than enough of my fair share of dues to you. So that least you could do is let me work in the fields that I know best so I can be more valuable to you. After all, I'll work harder for causes that I believe in. I'm halfway across the beam though. I gotta make it. Uh, look. We're not here to prevent you from doing any of those things if you're, if you're on your own time. But you'll start to death because there's no guaranteed way to make a living at what you're interested in. Don't you hear me? Listen to reason, son. Yeah, well. <sighs> those are the skills I have to offer. If you can't value me enough to pay me for what I'm most qualified in, then that's your loss. Take it or leave it. It's a shame that after all this time and effort spent studying ways to improve my life with the arts at society, doesn't value my skills monetarily. It's is that really my fault? I was always told that p people who end up happiest are those who study the field they want to work in and end up surviving that way. Since college graduates are supposed to earn more than once they enter the workforce, instead of always having to start over from square one again. Every place I've ever worked for has never paid me more than a few increments above the minimum wage. No matter how hard or how fast I worked, until I wore myself out endlessly to the point of. Economic slavery and death. In that void, the demons want to escape from the void. Only one specter can keep us in our domain. It's a vicious cycle. A never ending economic slavery. No matter how hard or how much I work, I'm working off a single job from physical labor to retail. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, and then all sorts of. I play yours by your system's rules. They got me nowhere. We gotta get out of here. It's getting too cloudy in this atmosphere. One. They're coming and incinerate me. We gotta get. I'm telling you, Crimson. We have to get, get you the product of the gnomes. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, I played by your systems and it is treating me like that. Very right. Oh, I should be able to get past these guys. seeing the right door. They zapped me. I'm better than this. Oh, come on. There we go. Us artists are getting sick and tired of being treated like we don't matter in society anymore. We don't have or not valued as much individually. We're not obsolete and old-fashioned. And when we appear out of style, we invent a new one. So that's our purpose. And we certainly aren't just mindless consumers. I'm not an advertisement. Bagging off your Lincoln Log UFOs. I've been here before. You're playing on your instincts from before. thinking individual. I'm not just a mindless consumer. I'm a person. A thinking individual. You treat people who are poor like they have no rights. And then you wonder why I want to escape to a metaphysical world to the subconscious rather than face the hardships your valuable system perpetuates through this metaphysical world. Uh, but that's your loss for not appreciating my full potential. Everyone has a right to exist. That's my right. Yeah, exist. However, I want. Give me my freedom to make a living what I do best. Give me death through your predetermined competition that's rigged to only benefit you. Your spaceships will respawn. You know, it just goes automatically goes into cloak when we get hit. As a defense mechanism. Uh, you know your credibility goes out the spaceship cockpit window once you mention mes metaphysical trip, so to speak. Right? People will think you're insane and they won't <laughs> listen. To, or if they do, then you won't believe you. I'm telling you. Listen to me. I'm Commander Starfire. I know what I'm speaking of. Diamonds disintegrate your cannon. No, I only have one more force field left. We must maneuver through this dangerous zone. Remember to avoid their negative ions. Yeah, they're dropping the bombs on you. Yes, you've made it once again. It's safe. Is it safe to travel, Doctor? We don't know. We must get through this barricade of enemy bulldozers. Or we'll never be able to get back through their lanes again. Can you do it? Yes, I've, I've been hard, through harder jams than this, Commander Starfire. A glitch. The power of the energizers. The veil electric orange bow ties. We only have one more force field. Come on. All our lives depending on you. We've got to get through this enemy sector. With the space before the gecko watch find you. Well, you know, we'll just be doing gecko and Hans a favor if we die here. You can do it. All we got to do is make it through the asteroid belt. Been in worse jams than this. Just don't let him hit you. All right, it's all right. We're almost there. We only got a couple more to go. Yeah, we'll make it. Don't worry. We're going to get a sarge. No, oh, here it comes. We're on our way back home. Are you sure we'll get home if we just shoot the last one? You never know about that. Could go on forever. That's the thing about space. It's infinite. Well, that, there's only one way to find out. Oh, and we're back to the beginning of these green O's. Triple-eyed burger bun alien greens. Well, eh, how is this fun? Will this ever end? Must we able to pause, my friend? Oh. <laughs> That was a close one.
Stay steady. Keep this ship afloat, Commander. Yeah. Is he safe to travel? Yes, that question is irrelevant. His ship's cannon credit. Set the course for the planet of the gnomes immediately. We're under attack. I said set the course for the planet of the gnomes. Yes, sir. Immediately. <laughs> Our last chance. If Crimson can't get us there, it may be our last hope. We could be dead in space before. Quick, evasive action. Prepare us. Set a course for the planet of gnomes immediately. That's an order. The effects of the psychological seed cure are wearing off. Yeah, either way, we must endure. We could all die out here. That's why we need you to get us to the crypt planet of the gnomes immediately, Crimson. It is imperative. The whole ship's crew depends on it. Like only could you get you to remember. You can sweat everywhere. I can see perfectly loud and clear. We'll plow our way through this bombardment of the alien battalions. It's the last thing we do, I mind you. My, my words. I'll get us out of this. I've been in worse messes. I can see your reality perfectly loud and clear as it is. Thank you. Yeah, uh, really. I can also see beyond you. Beyond all this hypocrisy, an intelligent person can tell the difference between hallucinations and reality. I learned how to control my reality years ago. Yes, in my dreams, and there is comfort in knowing we have control over our dreams and our own. We can also create our own alternate realities, just like parallel universes that coexist simultaneously. Yes, well, that's all impressive and all, but we still need you to get us to the planet of the gnomes, like, immediately. I'm working on it. Uh, imagine yourself there. Put yourself there. Yes, yes, yes. Stuff. We've been grounded too long on this rocky planet. But we're going. We're going to the Gnome Star Sector, and we're going to find this planet of the gnomes if we have to beat it out of Crimson Sunflower's Six Sense Go. If you hear me, it's an order. Yes, come on. Uh, sir, this ship's contained serious. Sustain serious damage. Uh, can you get us off the ground? I'll try. I'll do my best, sir. That's an order. Immediately. Yes. Immediately. Um, sir, I can't beat up a fellow human skull, but... Never mind, Glitch. The commander didn't mean that we would have to literally beat him up or anything. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Glitch. Commander Starfire? Glitch! Commander Starfire! Glitch! Commander Starfire! Glitch! Glitch! What? Nick! Control guard! Yeah. Suck the mind blower? Glitch! Commander Starfire! Yeah. Glitch! Yeah. Control guard Nick Melvin! Yeah. Suck the mind blower! And yes, sir. Um, starting the countdown now. Maybe Rocky.
You are all the crazy ones. Yes, you never know what I might do. So that means you just better listen to me, Crimson. Bitch, prepare for takeoff. Just because people think I'm crazy doesn't necessarily mean I'm wrong. There was a group just like you back in our ancient Earth home world history, and they were called the Nazis. Mark my words, your society is codependent on technology for everything from computer programming to teaching your children in your schools will be your own downfall unless you learn how to use the technology in moderation and also learn about alternative methods of spiritual growth through art, music, and other natural forms of expression that are equally as important to the human spirit. Yeah, we weren't robots, so we weren't meant to behave like that. coming down at me in zigzag formation, they always get me the second time around, damn. You're at the mercy of a democracy, freedom of speech. Yeah, but what if the majority are misled by ignorance? And the minority and intelligent ones have separated themselves like the elite uh, through a nice process of elite isolation from your socioeconomic standards. A person's intelligence cannot be judged by financial success and stability alone. Oh, well, what if I were to tell you we could offer you jobs for artists and... Yeah, there are too many laws and regulations to protect corporations, but not enough to protect humans from being treated like robotic slaves by these corporate governments. They can change the rules to suit their businesses whenever they want to do, but the majority of people can't have much power when they don't even have enough money to survive. Man-made laws are always flawed, even if uh, they were buying into your organizations designed to protect the rights of artists, poets, and struggling musicians who need full-time hours and better rates of pay for their, as well as health care benefits and their fields to survive. The majority of the money always goes to the businesses through self-appointed judges, and not enough trickles down to the individual artists in order to support themselves. The only thing standing in the way of corporations becoming complete tyrants by defining all the rules were the unions and organized people and governments relations, regulations to protect the works of the works of others. Oh, don't quote me what I already know. Glitch, prepare for the countdown. Why are we taking off? It's like I said, sir. The ship's sustained considerable damage since the attack. Uh, uh, we're working on it as fast as I can. Yeah, get to I thought we were already airborne. Nonsense. We had the meat docking procedure with the mothership. Scheduled. We have to refuel. Out in the basic nature of humanity, art isn't just a luxury, it's a way of life. Countdown in 10. There's where. Oh, I'm saying. This would be a better idea. It would be a better idea to keep walking down this internal galactic plank. Yes. Just keep walking along the spaceship's internal platform with us fellow star cops to the galactic gateway 